Thank you for joining us for the Hobie Mirage Compass walkthrough. The design of the compass has been around for several years and we've made little changes every year. Let's take a walkthrough and see what we have. When we take a look at the compass and the Hobie Mirage kayak lineup, it fits somewhere in between the Passport and the Outback in terms of size, construction, and features. Let's take a look at some of those features. So in the bow area, we have a cargo area that's covered in a mesh to allow you to strap things underneath it for your time out in the water. You'll notice under here that we have a, a circular flat in here, which allows you to add an accessory eight inch round hatch. In the rear of the cargo, we have a mass tube here, which allows you to install some accessories that we offer like the sail kit or the bimini. The bimini is a great accessory to keep sun off the top of your head um, for a full day out in the water. The compass comes standard with a Mirage Drive 180 kick up. The camo version of the compass comes with a 180 kick up turbo drive. Located between the seat and the drive on the combing, we have two rail mounted tracks. These allow for track mounted accessories to be easily installed. Behind the drive, we have an eight inch twist and steel hatch. The seat for the compass features a lightweight aluminum frame construction with a mono mesh and rip stop fabric construction. This design is easily removed from the kayak and can be used as a beach chair. The materials chosen for the compass seat allow for a dry, breathable, and comfortable seating experience. Underneath the seat, we have room for storage for tackle boxes or anything that you want to put under there. Located on the side of the cockpit, we have two carry handles, which allow for easier rooftop loading and side carry handling. The compass comes with an integrated underhull rudder system that has steering on the left side for going left and right and has up down control in the cockpit. On the right side of the hull, we have integrated paddle storage with a bungee tie down. Underneath the seat, you'll notice that there's a single scupper. This scupper allows for fish finder installation. Wires can be run up through, from the plate on the bottom through this scupper and are mounted to the hull using the fish finder parts that come standard with the kayak. In the rear of the compass, we have a large molded in cargo area with crisscross bungees to allow you to attach all your gear in the back and two mounted rod holders. In the forward area of the cargo well, we have two molded in scuppers, which allow for drainage and plug in cart installation. In the rear of the kayak, we have our rudder drum control, which allows for adjustability and trim. And we have molded in inserts, which allow for a power pole mounting plate. Hobie has a long history of great hull design and the compass certainly delivers on the hull design. If you take a look at the bottom, we have a fine entry bow, which allows for crisp, clean entry as you move through the water. And that bow transitions into a multi-hull design, which gives you nice width for stability and flotation on the outside edges just to give you the most secondary stability. That width is transitions all the way to the back. The wide back allows you to have plenty of displacement for when you load up the cargo area with heavy gear. And the rocker of the stern is a unique design that allows a wide platform to move very efficiently through the water. So we have water flow that flows smoothly over the curve and then peels off versus rumbling at the transom of a sharp corner. 
So near the rudder, we have two great features. One is a replaceable wear strip. This allows you to replace this if you're dragging your kayak around. When moving under the water, any obstruction that hit will allow the rudder to flip up and then snap back down. The versatile deck layout of the Compass is a great platform for all the great Hobie accessories. Some of them include rod holders, fish finders, sails, and biminis. So if you like all the great features of the Compass but want to go with a friend, we also have another option which is the Hobie Mirage Compass Duo. It has all the same features but with two seats. So if you take a look at the Passport and the Compass, there are two main differences. One is the construction. The Passport is thermoformed and the Compass is rotationally molded. A second change is the difference in the drives. The Passport comes standard with a non-reversing drive and the Compass does come with the 180. So when you take a look at the Outback and the Compass, there are some similarities between the two and there are some differences. One thing that they have in similar is the construction. They're both rotationally molded. Some differences between the two is that the Outback comes standard with deluxe fishing features and the Compass is a little bit more of an open platform that allows you to customize it to whatever your fishing preferences are. Another difference is that the Outback comes standard with turbo fins on the drive and the Compass comes with standard fin length. Thanks for tuning in on the walkthrough of the Hobie Mirage Compass. For more information, go to hobie.com to locate a dealer and schedule a demo. We'll see you on the water.